What's up guys, I am ProGuide's resident update specialist, Matt. And while Keith Allen is familiarizing himself with everything that's changed, I'm here to bring you up to speed with everything new in today's Fortnite update. That's right guys, after what feels like one of Fortnite's longest content droughts, a new update is finally here. And just like in any update cycle, the Fortnite team has dropped a small set of patch notes into the inboxes of creators, so we're going to go over those first. It's time to get on your marks to race. Rally Royale, a new car-based LTM, is being added into the game. To get the victory in this racing royale, you'll need a combination of speed and wit. You'll be collecting tickets to unlock the finish line, and you'll need to get there quick or be left in the dust. This mode launches later in the week, so it isn't out quite yet. The Marvel Knockout Super Series is on the way. Starting from tomorrow, you and your squad will be able to put your super-powered skills to the test as Fortnite begins its celebrations of the man without fear Daredevil. If you manage to win in this tournament game mode, you'll get access to the new Daredevil outfit before he even arrives in the item shop. This superpowered tournament is the first of four, and those who play in all four of them will get the exclusive Nexus War Glider. Finally, it looks like loot might be set to change. According to Epic, the influence of Galactus growing closer to the island is scrambling up the loot machines. As a result, combat shotguns are going to be more effective at all ranges. It's uncertain if this Galactus effect is going to take hold of any other weapons as he draws closer to the island, but Epic has also mentioned new superpowers rotating into the mix. Other than a shout out to the second week of this season's FNCS, that is literally it for the patch notes that Epic has provided for us. But hey, luckily we've got data miners in the community who have started to go just that little bit further to give us some real insight on how the game has actually changed. One of the more interesting leaks is something known as the Waffle Truck. We're not exactly sure what this is going to be, but it seems like there are a whole bunch of new weapons associated with it. In the files, we've got the Dragon Breath Sniper, Run and Gun, Frozen, Slurp, which is supposed to be an explosive weapon, Tracking, which is supposed to be a pistol, Thermal, which is also meant to be a pistol, Storm Scout, which is another sniper, the Burst, which is an assault rifle, and finally the Big Money, which is also meant to be an AR. Considering how odd the names are, there is really no way to tell what these are yet, or if they're just something leakers have stumbled across by accident. Either way, they sound pretty interesting. As usual, thanks to the way Epic loads in their challenges, we also have the next couple weeks of challenges in the game, which I'm showing on the screen right now. A new, more detailed model for Galactus has seemingly been discovered, which means he has got to be getting pretty close to the Fortnite island at this point in the story and can actually already be seen in-game. This combined with a new event file called Hightower HC Lobby Event being added to the game has led some people to believe that we might be seeing a new event coming up sooner than we had expected. While Epic has revealed a couple of LTMs in their patch notes, data miners have found references to another one. This is called Takeover 8v8 and is based around capturing and defending reactors to earn points over time. But with a moving storm that deactivates these reactors, teams are going to be constantly on the move in this respawn enabled mode. We also might have our first hint at what might be the next Party Royale concert as a string in the game says unlock the exclusive J Balvin style for the party trooper by attending one of his party royale concerts. A whole bunch of new consumables have been added to the game files. There's the Thermal Taffy, Jelly Bean, Candy Corn, Pepper Ming and W Broom. These are likely to be found in two new loot boxes, the Candy Bucket and the Broom Box. This has led some to believe that we'll be getting usable brooms as a witchy themed mobility option. While it doesn't look like there are any new locations in this update, there have been some references in the files to a new POI called Hey Boo. And it's likely that this location is either currently encrypted or has yet to be completely added and will be added fully in the next update for Fort Nightmares. Although while we're on the subject of map changes, by the looks of it, the Superstore is going to be turned into the Hey Boo location. Halloween decorations have started to appear all over the map 
which means that Fort Nightmares is right around the corner, and Midas's gold chair has arrived back at the Authority, which means we could be seeing Midas returning to the storyline really soon. Of course, as with every new update, a whole bunch of new skins, gliders, back blings, harvesting tools, and wraps have been added to the files, so we're going to take a look at those next. For the skins, we've got Midnight Dusk, Arachne Couture, Nash, Violet, The Night Surf Bomber, La Parker, Grimoire, Pit Stop, The Storm Racer, and of course the Daredevil skin that will be used as a reward for the upcoming Daredevil tournament. For the backblings, we've got the Sleek Strike, Hollow Skull, Batty Pack, Arachnid Tote, Lil Nashi, Fire Breathers Day Pack, UV Wings, and Reaper's Backplate. Once more in the Daredevil set is the Radar Senses. For the harvesting tools, we've got the High Octane, Vamp Axe, Web Spinner's Sylve, Dark Days, Blooming Doom, Forsaken Strike, and the Grim Axes. Following on with the Daredevil theme, we've also got Daredevil's Billy Clubs. For the gliders, there's the Squad Sail, and then the Daredevil themed Devil's Wings. Finally, the wraps. There's the Amber, Era Decadent, Extra Extra, and the Insightful. Well, that's pretty much it for today's update. It feels like pretty much nothing got added in this update, and all Epic are doing is gearing up for the next update in the form of Fort Nightmares. Either way, if you did enjoy watching this update video, then make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and hit that all-important bell button. And I'll see you guys in the next update video.